it, it just makes me scratch my head. What are you doing as an ownership group and a general manager that you remove a guy for maybe maybe the players are like him or whatever? That's unacceptable. And if I say if I put myself in the ownership shoes, the thing is uh, that's unacceptable. If I put together some star power such as the Phoenix Suns with these three, the big three they have, and you get swept in the playoffs, something's got to happen. Something's got to change because I guarantee you, if they lost in six or seven, this wouldn't happen. You know what I'm saying? But when you get swept, that's telling me, like, the coaches, maybe the coaches don't know what they're doing because you got KD, Book, and Bill. You should be able to get one or two games. But who did they get swept against? Minnesota. But you should, with that firepower, don't Minnesota right now, sweeping... No, they're not going to sweep. No, right now, they got the broom in their hand and the dustpan sitting in the corner. At home. At they home. Do. They do. Up 2-0 against the, the defending world champions. Yeah, but do you remember Phoenix pushed Denver to six games? I, that, that, I'm not talking about that, but though. They I'm should, just saying... You should get one game out of KD, two games out of KD, Book, and Bill in, a, in any situation. You might... You, you say that based on the names, Versus but any, if you're going up against... You're going up against a bigger team in in Minnesota mm. with a firecracker of a player that's all of a sudden just hitting where he ain't even scared of what's going on. I get in it. Man. I get it. But as an owner, if I got KD Book I understand. and Bill, yeah. I should be able to squeeze out two games. And if I can't squeeze out no you games, you somebody's going to take the axe. You one to two now. Scapegoat. You got Period. Scapegoat. Yeah. Period. But I think it's just wrong. So, Keyshawn, to your point, when I first heard this news, I sat back and thought, so Frank Vogel coached your Lakers to a championship four, four years ago. Are you counting that? Well, man, that's, you okay, man wait, talk, man, that's, quiet. you know what, that's my point, <laughs> because I think the league is not counting that, because now <laughs> right. Frank Vogel has been fired twice in four years right. after he won a quote-unquote oh, championship, right? right. 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 Fired twice in three years. Well, wh- however you want to look at it. Yeah, I mean, but it's been four years since the championship. Yeah. And, yeah. and in that four years, he's now lost two jobs. And it's because the league looks at what you did in the bubble as Mickey Mouse. That's right. what it is. They're just saying that's just Mickey. Nah, we nah, we, nah, we, we, we don't even count that. No, they're not looking at it that way. <laughs> yeah. no. They're looking at it as he doesn't have Anthony Davis and LeBron James, so he can't win. That's what they're looking at. Yeah, but he had them, and even the Lakers said, we're done with it. Yeah, but they, I don't know what we... I, I guess. I don't know. I, I felt like they should have never got rid of the dude, but whatever. It didn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Well, where do they go from here? Yeah, well, I mean... You know, man, Suns will get booed and Hoser. Where, do, where does Frank go? So you think Frank should go to the Lakers? No, no, Back no, 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 no. I don't think so. I just... That, that, that could... They would probably never do that. They probably would never do that. It's no. just the guy that we had the most recent championship success. Guys, okay, so your Celtics assistant was on that list, and now he went yeah, to Charlotte. Okay. And where are you left? There's no Budenholzer. Budenholzer was by far the most qualified candidate on your list, yes. right? So now what? I don't know that he was the most qualified. Well, I mean, he's got a How championship. Is, yeah. it ba- are you basing it just solely on the championship with Giannis and Middleton and, and that whole group? Well, he did it. He no, did I'm just it. saying, you yeah. basing it on that. Sure. Okay. Okay, who else? Who, who else is a made man on your list? I, I don't see it. I, I don't know who's left, man, to be honest with you. I really don't. And I don't think that the Lakers got rid of Darwin Ham without a plan. I just don't think that's the case. Maybe in the end it's J.J. Redick. Maybe in the end it, it is J.J. Redick. And they kind of letting things simmer down because it was heated yeah. mm-hmm. when his name was being mentioned. People was starting to, like, what are you doing, you know? Yeah. So maybe you bring it down. These other guys are coming out and going to other teams because they probably really feel like there's not a real shot yeah. at getting the job based on the information that's out there. Yeah. Um, I know the commissioner does not like bombshell stories sort of upstaging the playoffs right uh-huh. now. So th- th- it's one thing to fire somebody, but it's another thing to announce we have hired so-and-so. Yeah. So it's possible that the Lakers have their guy well, and they're the, just waiting Charlotte, until... Charlotte just announced they, they hired did that. Maybe that's why y'all lost. Mm-hmm. They was focused in on y'all assistant yeah. being <sighs> gone. You think that was it? No, nah, he's there throughout the playoffs. But he probably was focused in on getting a job and didn't prepare properly. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, man, you come up with the damnedest yeah. thing, Ski. Yeah. <laughs> Left them <laughs> speechless, nothing to say. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I, I am speechless. I got nothing to say today. Y'all well, got me today. Unfortunately, Keyshawn, you have Y'all nothing to say today. about your next Laker coach because yeah, you don't know who it is. I don't. Maybe we can give Jay Wright a whole bunch of money to come to the pros and move from the East Coast. It sounds like the NBA world is saying nobody wants to coach that guy in L.A., that guy. I'm talking about the guy, that guy, right? Yeah. I, I, that's a tough job right now, toughest job. But, but, that's not, but, but also, but, toughest but, job but, but here's the deal, man. That's not true because there's nobody available. <sighs> who's available? Like, who's available? <sighs> If somebody could become available. Yeah, but that's that's why you had to hire Darvin Ham, because nobody else wanted any part of this. And Darvin well, who was available a year ago? Yeah. Who was available? I mean, I'm tired of the NBA recycling these old coaches anyway. You know, it's time to start giving some of these top assistants some, some opportunities that, that... Microwave. They do it in the NFL, too, yeah, so it ain't yeah, nothing they to do. they got to start recycling all these coaches. That's what they do. Yeah.